Hi guys, this is Hal Bosco, and welcome back to another video. And today, we're going to be ranking the songs off of, um, um, uh, Rush's, one of, um, how many albums did they make? Uh, so. Uh, we're going to be reviewing their sixth album, uh, called Hemispheres. I didn't even open up the document, and I need to do that from behind. So, just give me time. How are you guys doing? Good? Laddie's doing good also. <clears throat> okay. And this is probably their shortest album song-wise. Because, well, definitely song-wise. There's only... No, so usually Rush has eight songs on here. Um, and... And some and on Crest of Steel they had five songs, twenty one twelve and Farewell Kings they had six songs. This album has four songs and it was this list was very difficult to rank because this is such a great album and it was just really difficult for me because you know, this is just an awesome album. A hundred percent, ten out of ten, A plus plus or far beyond that I would say. Um but this album is just awesome you have to hear it if you haven't uh so i love every single song every single song is flawless i love excuse me uh, i love every single song on this album but something has to be at the bottom uh number four is the trees many people would have this at number three or number two maybe number maybe even number one um but the trees is just an awesome song. I love the guitar work at the end by Alex Lifeson, uh, and yeah, everything in it is just amazing. So yeah, number four is the trees, and um, yeah, Laddie's looking his paws. He's <clears throat> Laddie loves this album also. He agrees on every single song. Uh, so yeah, number three. Many people would have this at the bottom. Um, the, well, this is just a great song. I think it's one of my favorite rush tracks and yeah number three is circumstances a very great song and these next two songs are once again epics and they are just superb and astounding and essential uh, especially number one you have to love number one or my number one uh but for now number two is the sidelong masterpiece and album opener Cygnus X1 Book 2 Hemispheres. So, in A Farewell to Kings, there was Cygnus X1 Book 1 The Voyage. We kind of left on a scary note at the end. Um, because Getty Lee's last lyric, Every world, every nerve is torn apart. And um, it kind of leaves you, like, sca like anxious. Like, because the man is in the black hole. And he ventures his way out somehow. Because... I mean, you could probably die in black holes. I don't know. I've never been in one, and I'd like to keep it that way. Um, but Hemispheres is such a great song. Um, how long is the song? 18 minutes and 8 seconds of just awesomeness. Uh, yeah, I'm on the uh, oh, I'm on Wikipedia right now. Um, but this song is just really awesome. So, yeah. Uh, and the parts on here are Part 1 Prelude, and these actually are... Some of these are... Or these next two parts are Greek gods, and there's other stuff. So, uh, part one is Prelude. Part two is Apollo, bringer of wisdom. Part three is Dionysus or Dionysus, bringer of love. No, part four is Armageddon, the battle of heart and mind. Part five is Cygnus, bringer of balance, and part six is the Sphere, a kind of dream. So, those are all the parts of. Um, Cygnus X1, Book 1, or Book 2, Hemispheres, and yeah. And number one, now everyone should know this song. This is in my top three Rush songs. Nine minutes of awesomeness. Just the nine-minute spectacular. Instrumental. It's awesome. It's one of the best instrumentals of all time, and I think many of you will agree with me. Um, also otherwise known as an exercise in self-indulgence, La Via Strangiato. My God, you have to listen to this if you haven't. And it is just amazing. Everything in it is just 
powerful. I love everything about it. So here's my list right here. Um, only four songs. A very short album. Wait, let me look how much, how long the album was. Yeah, 36 minutes and 8 seconds. Well, mainly because side one was, um, uh, uh, Cygnus X1, book one, uh, book two, Hemispheres. And, uh, yeah. Uh, and, um, there's 12 parts in, um, uh, in, um, uh, La Via Strangiato. Part one is... Buenos noches, mine friends. I think that's how you uh, say that. Part two, to sleep, perchance to dream. Part three, uh, strongiato theme. Part four, a lurkst in Wonderland. I think lurkst is um, uh, Alex Lifeson's nickname. I, I can't remember. Uh, part five is uh, monsters. Um, part uh, six is the ghost of the Air the ghost of the Aragon. Part seven is Danforth and Pape. Part eight is my favorite part of the song. The Waltz of the Shrebs, Shreves, I don't know. Uh, part 9, uh, n uh, Never Turn Your Back on a Monster. Part 10, Monsters Reprise. Part 11, Strangiato Theme Reprise. And Part 12, A Farewell to Things. Not Kings, but Things. Those are the parts of, um, of, um, <clears throat> of the Strangiato. And, I did not forget, we have to do the, um, uh, the, uh, you know what it's called, the... 40th anniversary edition of, um, um, of, uh, Hemispheres, so 40th anniversary was actually last year, um, A Passage to Bangkok recorded on June 4th, 1979 at the Pink Pop Festival, here we go again with this kind of stuff, you know how last time it was the Hammersmith Odeon, now it's the Pink Pop Festival a lot. Uh, Xanadu recorded on June 4th, 1979 at the Pink Pop Festival, uh, the Trees recorded on June 4th, 1979 at the Pink Pop Festival. Cygnus X1 Book 2 Hemispheres, The Sphere, A Kind of Dream recorded on June 4th, 1979 at the Pink Pop Festival. Closer to the Heart recorded on June 4th, uh, 1979 at the Pink Pop, at the Pink Pop Festival. La Via Strangiato recorded on June 4th, 1979, um, at the Pink Pop Festival, In the Mood, recorded on June 4th, 1979, at the Pink Pop Festival, Drum Solo, which is once again uh, Neil Peart, recorded on June 4th, 1979, at the Pink Pop Festival, uh, Something for Nothing, recorded on June 4th, 1979, at the Pink Pop Festival, and the last one is, is actually not the Pink Pop Festival, 2112, recorded on November 20th, 1978, in Tucson, Arizona. So that's what, um, uh, that's what it is right there. So, uh, the next, uh, Rush album we're going to be reviewing is just once again, an awesome album. What more can you ask from it? Cause it's just awesome. Everything in it. I love it. Uh, and that album is the start of their eighties, permanent waves. And then after that one, is their worldwide success, I would say, Moving Pictures, which never gets old for me. And, uh, yeah. Just like Hemispheres and 2112 and, you know, Permanent Waves, A Farewell to Kings, Fly By Night. I mean, they're so good. Like, all of them. They're just awesome. Um, I just love most of their albums. That's why I'm, that's why I, um, am doing Rush right now. Because they haven't really put out a bad album. I mean, I, but something has to be at the bottom for the albums, but that's probably not going to be for a while because, um, you know, they have released 19 albums. I'm not going to be including um, their EP uh, feedback, um, so don't expect that to happen. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, uh, please leave a like, comment if you want, view my videos, and, of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Halbuska, signing off. And Laddie wants to say bye also. Extreme close-up. On the beautiful laddie. Forever the laddie. I don't know. I say weird stuff all the time. Anyway, bye guys.